Johnny Depp's $100 million payment was rejected by Amber Heard. Her message was to be sent. Not that Amber Heard is genuinely suing Johnny Depp for $100 million. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor had demanded half that sum in his defamation lawsuit, but her attorney claimed on Friday that they had only asked for that amount as a warning to the star. When the legal teams representing the divorcing spouses filed their final arguments in their competing defamation cases on Friday in a Virginia courtroom, that became known. As a result of what you did to Johnny Depp, we responded to his $50 million lawsuit with a threat to sue for $100 million. Attorney Elaine Bredehoff addressed the jury regarding compensatory damages, saying, We're not asking you to give $100 million. We're asking you to just look at the damages in this case and just be fair and reasonable in whatever you determine. Commencing on April 11th in Fairfax, Virginia, the case was presented to the jury on Friday afternoon. Heard's side has maintained that the case is a First Amendment dispute about the freedom to tell one's own story, despite Depp's side portraying it as being about regaining his life and reputation. In his opening remarks, the defendant's attorney, Benjamin Rottenborn, cautioned the jury about the message they would be sending to victims of domestic abuse should they find in Depp's favor. It didn't happen if you didn't take pictures. If you took any photos, they are not real. You're lying if you haven't told your friends. Your friends are complicit in the hoax if you told them about it. You weren't hurt if you didn't go to the doctor. You're crazy if you sought medical attention, Rottenborn remarked.